Cancola, as we discuss this issue, I'm always conscious of those people around us in the chamber uh, who are here with us and who have suffered heartbreak. And uh, I think we should always reflect for a short time uh, um, in, in, in respect of their suffering and to let you all know that we, we share that heartbreak for you and indeed anybody else associated with the House and the many thousands of people outside who have been affected by mental health issues. And I want to commend Deputy Brown because he's done extraordinary work here and I think the House will acknowledge he's done extraordinary work in this area. And you know, uh, we have to stop the repeated failures uh, to our people in relation to mental health issues. Now unfortunately when it comes to mental health services, Roscommon has been in the headlines for all the wrong reasons. We are all familiar with the external review into mental health services in the county which painted a damning indictment of a service in a crisis mode. A service, I might remind you, where it was deemed a culture of blame, secrecy and negativity abounds. As a result of that review, one independent committee suggested that 27 points would be implemented without any delay. A management team was put in place and to this day, as far as I'm aware, very few, if any, of those 27 points have been implemented. In the programme for government, a commitment was made to improve the mental health services throughout the country. So I am re really speaking parochially like Deputy Cahill today because what has happened in our county is appalling and outrageous. And I know there are other incidents nearly as bad around the country. Let us also remember that the external review commenced in August 2015 but that was only completed in September 2017. With such an emergency situation, it took two years for that report to come through. I'm not going to speak any further on it. The facts are there. We all know what we have to do. And Minister, I think while I have the opportunity, I would ask you to again look at the Roscommon situation and ensure that the 27 recommendations made are implemented as quickly as possible. Thank you very much. Thank you,